Confluence is a great tool for project management because it lets us collect all of our information and knowledge in one spot. But there are a few different ways you can set up Confluence to support your projects. And here, we'll look at both of them. The first way we'll dig into is having a space dedicated to a project. This is essentially an area of Confluence that you dedicate to only putting information about a single project. And then a different project would have its own space. The other way you can think about this is to have a branch, a part of a space dedicated to a single project. For example, having a page with the name of the project and everything there as a child of that page. We're gonna dig in and see the differences between these two approaches and see why we might wanna pick one over the other. So let's jump in. Here we are in a copy of Confluence Cloud Premium, but what I'm gonna show you will work in any copy of Confluence, whether it's data center, cloud, or any of the various flavors. First, we're gonna take a look at setting up a space to handle a single project. And if we take a look at my spaces list, we can see I have one called Project jQuil. Now this entire space is dedicated just to this one project. So if I open this up, I can expect all the information in here to relate just to Project jQuil. Now this has a big advantage because it means everything about that project is in one spot. I can send someone to this space and they know everything should be in here. It also lets me control the space around the project. For example, if I go into space settings, I might set up my access to only allow groups related to Project jQuil to have access, or maybe just specific users. So if Project jQuil is more sensitive or needs a little bit extra control, I might choose to have it in its own project, just so I know everything in there is controlled by the same type of access. I can also do some other things at the space level, for example, having specific statuses related to this content or doing other things with a look and feel. But one of the biggest things I'll be able to do in here is use that users and groups to control who can access Project jQuil information. Now, of course, once I start building out information, I will need to keep an eye on the structure. And having my own space it makes it a bit easier to add more stuff. I don't have to worry about putting it under the wrong parent. And again, this is a major advantage. I know that everything in here has the same controls. When we take a look at putting this under a single parent in another space, a big consideration will be if I have to restrict it. And then if I put that page in the wrong spot in a communal space, it will become exposed and someone can see it. There is one other advantage I have to my own space, and that's templates. This isn't the biggest advantage in the world, but templates are constrained to one space. So if there are special templates that only Project jQuil needs, I might choose to go with my own space so I could have templates unique just to Project jQuil. Now, if I have a lot of projects like this, there is another advantage. When I go to create a space, I can pick from a template. And so I might find that one of these templates is very useful, for example, the project management one. And this can make it very easy to quickly spin up a new project as they come online. There are also some other advantages at the space level. For example, we can copy permissions from another space. So again, tying back to our permissions discussion, if I have another project whose permissions are identical to Project jQuil, I can just go copy them in. This makes it easier to administer because I don't have to worry about who should get access and I won't miss anybody. So now that we understand a bit about its own space, let's take a look at housing all of our project information under a single parent in a shared space. So here, I'm gonna to go to my own personal space, but this could be any space, maybe one just called engineering, maybe one called human resources or any other team I might have at my company. And here, if we look in my page structure, we'll see Project jQuil represented as its own branch, as its own parent with a number of children. Now, one advantage here is all of my projects might be in one space. For example, my engineering team might know, just go to the projects page and they'll see a list of every project. So it can make it simpler to find this information. Also, it is contained under the same permission structure. So for example, if I have a project management office or PMO, I might give them access to this space and then they can see all the projects. Now it can be just as easy to copy permissions between spaces, but here I only have to worry about one space. I can't make a mistake and forget to include someone on a whole project because it lives here. I can also restrict just the branch of one project. 
This does require a little bit more effort, but I could choose to restrict this so only certain people could view or edit Project jQuil, but they can see other projects. My own preference is if I have a very sensitive project, give it its own space. The controls are much more powerful and it's much easier to exclude folks, but this does give me some flexibility here. But the biggest advantage for me is it's all under one space and confluence. An entire team's worth of projects can be in one spot, and I don't have to worry about where should engineering add its new project? Should they make a new space? How should they control it? All they need to know is come in here and add it. Now I can also, to an extent, templatize this. So one advantage I might have here is I can build out a template page structure that has a top level and other basic pages, and then I can just go to copy and copy off the entire structure when a new project comes into play. This does require thinking through what standard generic pages do I want for my project structure, which is something I'll cover in another video, but it does make it easy to spin up a brand new project as they come online, just copy your template structure into the same space, and that will bring in all of the templated pages that you need in the exact structure that you're looking for. So there we go. Those are two different ways to structure our projects in Confluence. The first being give a project its own space. And this has some huge advantages. As we discussed, access is one of the big ones. You can control access at the space level and even copy in permissions from other spaces to ensure that only appropriate people have access. But there are some other advantages. You can label spaces so you can more easily organize them. And it also lets folks know that when they're in a space, it only relates to that project. They won't get other information. And having a page structure within its own space has its own advantages. It ensures that one team can put all of their information in one spot. So the engineering team knows all of their project information is in the engineering space or HR is only in the HR space. That said, you can of course use variations of this. You might mix and match. You might choose to have a space for bigger projects and a page tree for smaller ones. There's no real wrong way to use it, but you do want to think through how you'll use it and share that with your team so they know what to expect when they go into Confluence. So, this is just two ways to organize your structure. If you and your team use other ways, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. And thank you so much for taking time to learn a little bit about Confluence and how it can support us as project teams. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe, and share it with someone else. And when you're ready, I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video soon. Mm -hmm.